Hello friends, it's Cinema Lovers Incorporated back at you again with a brand new video and today I am reviewing the newest Marvel film, Avengers Infinity War. But before I do so, I just want to apologize for my lack of videos last week. It's because I was extremely busy doing schoolwork and I went back to Disney World. So yeah, that is kind of explaining my lack of videos. So. I saw Avengers Infinity War yesterday. They were sold out at my theater on Friday, so I had the privilege of going on Saturday, and I was really, really hyped for this film because I just always think Marvel movies are so much fun to watch in the movie theater. And this film does not disappoint in the action um, standpoint. However, the film at the end is just tiring and in a way, it reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. All of the storylines going on. Um, sometimes you're not really invested in the storylines because they switch from place to place. And they don't go back to the storyline in a very long time. So it's a pretty lengthy film. And sometimes we don't even see Tony Stark for a period of time and that could be a problem there's also a over usage of comedy in this film loki i think dies i don't know if he dies but literally about five minutes later they just have comedy thrown in there you don't really even remember loki dying and that's another one of my problems loki dying i don't really think loki died if he did die that's a big problem because it just fell out of place for loki to use that knife I just thought he was smarter. All of that build-up, all of the character development, for him to go out like that, if he did die, it's disappointing. I know they want to shock the audience, but it just did not feel right. Um, so let's talk about the film. I thought all of the actors were most of the time good. I thought the Guardians of the Galaxy group was the most annoying in this film. and They just don't work as side characters as comic relief characters i feel like they work in their own film where they have their own story their own structure their own plot and this they're crammed in in the avengers film <laughs> how many times do i say film comment down below they are crammed in the movie and they just come off as annoying um especially i think his name's drax the big guy who in real life used to be a boxer He's one of the most annoying characters, and a lot of the comedy in this movie does not stick. Some of it does, and then some of the comedy is extremely cringeworthy and frustrating and forced. Sometimes I really want to get into the movie, into the characters, and this comedy is just too much. Let's talk about the main bad guy. He is really, really fun. I normally, some of the time, I don't really enjoy these alien villains. I just think they're one-dimensional and boring. However, this guy, he has his own motives, and he has his own true passion for what he's doing. He wants to do this for a reason. He's not just destroying the Earth because he's evil and villainous. He has a goal, and he's trying to reach it. And I thought that was interesting uh, when watching this villain, and I wanted to see more about him. I just always cared about him. Let's talk about Tony Stark. Robert Downey Jr. is awesome in this film. And everyone else is awesome in this film. They have to stop the villain from getting all of these stones. If the villain gets all of the stones, then he rules the world. I really like how he uses this, like, power glove thing to turn back time to make weird alternate reality things. It was a ton of fun watching that. However, it, it makes a lot of problems. I just don't know... I don't know why he doesn't kill these superheroes sometimes. He leaves the superheroes to just live and he does kill people sometimes but then other times he doesn't kill people like right at the beginning why doesn't he kill thor i don't understand because thor does come back later on and kind of mess mess up his plans i know he's confident i know he believes he will get all the stones but what if he doesn't what if he screws up because he let these characters live it just doesn't feel right there's so many moments when he could have killed these characters and he lets them survive for no apparent reason at all. I, I Maybe he has some more tricks up his sleeve. Maybe he wants them alive so he can torture them. But I don't know. It just doesn't feel right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I really like Chris Evans in this film. I think that's his name. He's awesome. 
Captain America is my favorite film, um, my favorite character. He's just a really nice, sweet leader, and he's tough, and you just always care about this guy, and he kind of relates to me. You know, he was picked on when he was skinny, and, you know, he rose up and became a really, really, a person of his own. He became his own person, and people respected him for it. So this film, you know, you want to go to the movies, see some action. This movie is really, really full of action. It's awesome. Um, I really don't like some of the character choices sometimes. Uh, Gamera, she dies in this film, and it felt really, really strange. I have a feeling they might resurrect her in the next film, but who knows. It was sad, though, watching her die. Um, so, yeah. There's a lot of weird stuff with the power glove and stuff, you know. It just Sometimes it might not make sense. But I overall give this film, I give it a B plus. I thought it was great action, great fun, great uh, cinema, you know, just to go and eat popcorn and have fun. But the comedy is too much sometimes. The plot is just all over the place sometimes. But I think the action and the characters, the actors bring strong performances to the role. I think this film is going to be fun for you guys. All of you Marvel fans will love the movie. I think it is a solid film. It's not my favorite Marvel film, but it's pretty fun. I give it a B plus. What do you guys think of this film? Let me know. Comment down below. Subscribe to whatever the heck you want to do. And stay tuned later on for more reviews. My name's Alex, signing off. Bye, everyone.